Amber and Peter wanted me to let you know how truly honored they are that you're all here today. Coming from all different places around the world, you are witnessing their joyous celebration of love. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the wedding of Amber and Peter. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, and two people who are in it forever. They are surrounded by their closest friends and family, this could not be a more perfect moment to commemorate their love. Each of you has played your part in bringing us all together today. Take a deep breath. Take this all in. Look around, enjoy the scenery, enjoy this moment. It is in these moments that we create these memories that are etched in our hearts forever. When I see you together, I can see you are truly committed and prepared to take this step. You're here today because two strangers met and they fell in love and now we are here to witness their commitment forever. It's like a Disney fairy tale. One of those stories where a boy meets girl and falls in love. It is apropos to be here in Pemberton where Peter and Amber met at a music festival. They had a long campfire chat that involved politics and Chinese history. That created a spark that led us here to this moment. Amber describes Peter as compassionate, ambitious, captivating, and contrarian. Peter describes Amber as vivacious, caring, beautiful, and perfect. Combined with your great love for one another, you are choosing to get married because you want to spend the rest of your lives together. Ready now to share your promises to each other. Amber, I love you madly. It stupefies me to think back to Pemberton six years ago and how from the moment I saw you, I was struck by something intangibly incredible about you and your approach to life. There isn't a moment in my life that goes by when I can't pause and marvel at the amazing luck life dealt me by putting us together in that brief moment of time. Life is a sum of small moments, but there's none I'll be more grateful for than the moment I decide to walk up to that tent and say hi to you. A single, small increment in time that has changed my life immeasurably and brought you and your radiance into my world. You truly are amazing. Being in love with you is gorgeous and I couldn't ask for a better partner in life. I promised myself I wouldn't share too much, but I kept reaching for ways to describe you and your complex beauty. And it wasn't an easy task. So I thought I'd share two things that have always stuck with me. The first was our second date. We'd spent our first date in that clumsy foxtrot, getting to know one another, where we both discovered our passion for discussion and a little debate. Little did I know that come our second foray together, we would come fully equipped with research and counterpoints to every single argument I made. I marveled at your ability to hold straight in conversation, and the ground shifted under me. I was finished in this. The second is that at home we have these funny little flannel sheets covered in cute little penguins. And whenever you would make the bed, I couldn't understand why you would put the sheet on from my perspective upside down. And one time I finally asked you why, and you said with this impish little grin that it was so the penguins could hug one another. And if I had to pick the quintessence of you and what I love most about you, it's those two stories. There's the unyielding courage and tenacity you face life with, married against the absolute steel will of finding beauty in every moment of the world. You remind me day after day how much beauty there is in the world. How much laughter, how much consideration you spend in university. I used to stay up at night reading 
proper piercing set in the art of metal second. She's a very much proper piercing. And there was a passage that always stuck with me. And it he says, you ought not to climb mountains for the summit because it's the sides that define the journey of sustained life. I love you with all my heart. I couldn't dream of a better partner for this journey of life. Through the gullies and steeps, I promise to be with you all. My heart is yours, Amber. I spend, I promise to spend my life loving you and trying endlessly to give you some semblance of the love and joy that you showed me. Whether it's carving out a <laughs> judicious 90 steak for Ottawa on the bed, belting it out Disney at the top of our lungs, or pushing ourselves to be the paragon of what we can be, I promise to be behind you at every step, and I strive to cast a small light beside the burning sun that is you. Perfect. <laughs> take a sec, take a breath. I can't see. It's okay, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> take your time. True love is hard to find, and every day I count my lucky stars to have found you. When I first started falling for you, I kept a list in my journal of why I loved you, and while there were many, one stood out. I love him because I can trust him completely. You're such a good man, Peter Mondich. I love the values you hold and how much you care for your family. I love the way you laugh with your whole body. <laughs> and you, you become so passionate about explaining a theory that you write it down on a napkin. <laughs> I love how you dance while doing the dishes <laughs> and how you can debate into the early hours of the morning. I love the way you sing Les Mis at the top of your lungs. <laughs> how you improvise on the piano. And I love the way you get the most joy out of the smallest of grumbles. <laughs> you make everyone around you better. I am better for getting to love you and we are better together. For the past five years, you've made me feel so loved every day. I've never been seen so completely, loved so passionately, and protected so fiercely. And I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same. I promise to trust, respect, and encourage you. I promise to create a home for you to, full of love and compassion. I promise to raise a family and grow old with you. When I look into your eyes, I see home. And no matter what comes our way, I promise that I will always choose you. I love you, Peter. I love you now, and I always will. Somewhere there are rings. Both of them in here? Gracias. The rings. By the way, that was awesome. <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> I'm not sure we need to go on. Did you sign the business? <laughs> just. The rings. The rings you're about to exchange are often spoken of being a perfect circle, but no beginnings and no end. Instead, I would like them to hold this meaning. When you look at your rings, remember, it is the friendship and love that will continue to grow between you. It is the endless laughter you will fill your home with and the many more adventures that will come your way. Not only are the rings reminders of the commitment you have made here today, but the promise of the incredible tomorrows that await you. So we have the rings. Where's the best man? Open it up for me, please. Thank you. I'll spill my papers out for you. You take one. Hold on to it. You take one. Thank you. Let <laughs> me get this right. 
This is where you say I do, and I'm going to ask you a question. Do you, Peter, give this ring as a symbol of your love and commitment to keep your vows? I do. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a reminder. I give you this ring as a reminder. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times and all places. In all times and all places. In all ways forever. In all ways forever. Can you say I do next? Do you, Amber, give this ring as a symbol of your love and commitment to keep your vows? I do. Amber, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a reminder. I give you this ring as a reminder. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times and all places. In all times, in all places. And in all ways forever. In, and in all ways forever. Now both of you repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and friendship. I give, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and friendship. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Above all others. Above all others. And cherish you throughout our lives together. And cherish you throughout our lives together. Peter, Amber, you've expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you have just made. It is with these in mind that I now pronounce you... Put the ring... I apologize. I thought we did that. Well done, Mom! Just your left hand. Thank you. I'll start that again. You have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promise you have just made. It is with these rings and with these in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife. At this moment, I'd like to introduce Carolina, who is the official signing. Red. What's that? So, Carol, do you want to go over there? You guys are officially married by me, but that doesn't count as much as the one which she signed. Okay, okay. You guys are awesome. I forgot to wait. <laughs> I forgot to wait, too. <laughs> right. Okay, just go see Caroline. She'll sign the papers. You're looking after the dress. Thank you. Thank you. You got that? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can take
when they come back up here, Darby, you can take them here and I'll move out of the way. I gotta come back up here. Yeah. Do you want them back up here for the picture? Okay. Done? Yeah. Carolina, we done? Okay, back over here. Come back over here for one more picture. One last thing, takes like three seconds. So it says here in my notes, but you're way ahead of me. Peter may kiss your bride. <laughs> I think you've jumped that gun already, so the next line will go right on to that to get us out of the heat. Family, friends, it is with great joy I now present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Amber and Peter Munch. Yep. Yeah.